All right, hello everyone. Welcome to part three on our uh, episode three on our Pokemon Heart Gold Let's Play. And this time I'm gonna do something different. Um, I'm gonna do a voiceover because the audio uh, when I was recording didn't sound good, so I'm gonna do it again. So did you know that the Poke Gear allows you to put marks on mammals on its map? I'd love to have one of those Poke Gears, but Mom won't let me have one. So that's something that I wouldn't normally use, and something that I don't think. Um, uh, we'll be using in the future, but that's something good to know, you know. So, uh, we are gonna come up here to the Bell Sprout Tower and and see what because I know that you could get something on the top over here. Um, so and you could also train, you know. So, uh, we're, we're trying to go get that uh, Onyx that they'll trade for uh, Bell Sprout, so that's where we're gonna go. Um, in the middle of the pillar. Yeah, and this is one of those uh, buildings that you can never forget if you played the first games. Uh, it's just something that's uh, it's like an icon, you know. Um, and then it's the uh, Sprout Tower was built long ago as a place for Pokemon training. So these guys are like monks. Uh, let's talk to this guy. Uh, only those who reach the top will receive a wonderful move. Uh, which now that I, I actually know <laughs> what we're going to get since I already played it. Uh, but I didn't know that it was going to be a move, and I didn't think it was going to be for the cave, you know, like uh, on our way here, uh, there was the dark cave, and I know that uh, we needed that move flash, you know, and we do end up getting flash um, at the top, uh, but there's just a bunch of Rattatas, um, and I honestly thought that there was Bellsprouts here, uh, but I guess there's not, even though it's Bellsprout Tower, only Rattatas appear. Um, as far as I know, because like I, I was here for a while, and, and the only thing I was getting is just uh, wild ratatas, you know. Um, and then at the top, actually, there's a way to go in, and actually, uh, I couldn't find a way to uh, battle the last guy. So I go back, and I'm like, you know what? Maybe I'm sorry about that. Uh, maybe we need to battle the gym first. So then I go over there and I battle the gym. Um, and then they tell me that I can't battle the gym until we uh, uh, finish the Bellsprout Tower. So then I'm like, well, then what's the, then how am I going to get to the Bellsprout Tower? So then I uh, I come back and then that's when I noticed that um, there wasn't a way to uh, go in, which I didn't notice at the time. So uh, however hard we battle, the tower will stand strong. Um, and it's pretty funny, you know, because it's, it's moving like the pillar uh, that's holding it together. It's moving, but at the same time, I guess that's what... Uh, makes it uh, strong since it, even though you're uh, moving it like the Pokemon battling and everything um, It moves around you know the The actual pillar I'm guessing doesn't move at all. It's just the building around it or other than that I don't know how that would work uh, But they do have just bell sprouts here and uh, who, who I believe um, But that's about it and they're all low level so our Cinder is just doing work on all these Pokemon right here um and I am planning to do just uh, pick like Team Rocket teams, um, not all of them because of course we're not going to be able to get like uh, Giovanni's full team, you know. I'm not sure if you could even get a uh, Needle Queen, a uh, Needle King and Needle Queen um, here at, together, you know. Maybe you have to trade it in uh, with uh, Soul Silver. Uh, honestly, don't know, you know. I don't remember that because I'm, I'm going fresh, you know. Um, even though I played uh, um, Pokemon Silver for the Game Boy Color, it's still that was a long time ago, you know. I haven't played that in a while, um, so even though I still remember most of the game, uh, small details like that, it's just I'm not gonna remember, you know. Uh, but I am planning to choose uh, a Team Rocket team, and unfortunately, we're gonna get rid of Cyndaquil or uh, uh, Typhlosion uh, later on. Uh, right now, it's just gonna help us um, level up the rest of our Pokemon. And as you guys can see right here, there's like a bunch of Rattatas. And uh, I imagine there is, you know, since it's a building and everything, and then rat attacks uh, are rats. And I know there's a, I don't know where, but it's like in the east. Um, there's like a building where they worship rats, and there's like a building, and and there are monks and everything. And there's just a bunch of rats, and they uh, they feed them and everything. Though I don't know, I don't, uh, that's their religion, I guess, because they they have like a rat god. Um, but I, I don't know, just rats creep me out, you know, because they're so small. And then the, the long tails, it's just, I don't know, it's just really uh, uh, creepy to me. Um, 
but yeah we're gonna try to get uh, at least uh, rock types ground types and at least try to get most of uh, Giovanni's team um, I know we're gonna get onyx and I know that he's not uh, part of Giovanni's team but he is a rock type and we're going after a rock type and and ground type so uh, that's what we're gonna go for so we stand guard here we express our gratitude to show our respect for all Pokemon um, and Onyx, I don't know, I think Onyx is a really good Pokemon. Uh, I do end up ca uh, getting it, uh, but I don't get a Bellsprout here since uh, you can't get Bellsprout. So maybe you can, they're, they're just uh, um, like really rare, I guess, or I'm not sure. Because I did check on the map and and I was confused while looking at the map. I didn't know where the uh, Bellsprout Tower was, but um, I don't know, I think you can't, but maybe you can. I'm not really sure about that. Um, so we're just battling a bunch of Bellsprouts that honestly are no match to our uh, Cyndaquil. Maybe if we chose uh, Totodile, they would have done work, you know, since uh, they do no Bind, uh, no bind Whip and uh, Razor Leaf and all those moves. So they would have done work on us. And then if we uh, chose uh, Chikorita, then uh, we wouldn't do that much damage to each other, you know. It would be just a, a really long fight. Uh, so it really helps to get um, a fire, uh, fire starters at the beginning. Uh, uh, I think in all the games because usually at the beginning you battle like bugs for example um, Earlier on right here when we're getting here there was a lot of uh, uh, bug catchers with their weedles and everything like that You know so it really helps uh, having fire type Pokemon and then we're here. We're just uh, finding uh, these pokeballs and I think this uh, uh, X accuracy which I never use I always get them but I, I, you, I you always end up um, selling them for like $50 I know it's not much but it's just taking space you know um, so I don't use those I don't know I don't find them helpful because you're wasting your t your turn when you use them uh, because you can't use them before the the uh, the battle you always have to use them while you're doing the battle so it's like uh, it's just like I guess like having a move um, which increases your accuracy and all that, but at the same time, I think it's wasting uh, a turn in a way. So I don't know. I've never really used those. I just uh, always sell those. Um, so I'm gonna sell that as soon as I can in the Pokemon Mart. And yeah, we're just doing work on all these Bell Sprouts. They're level three, and we're already level uh, 13. But at the same time, it's our only Pokemon, you know. So um, he is gonna have a higher level since uh, he's fighting all the Pokemon that we fought so far. And then right here we uh, we're gonna learn what do we learn? I wasn't even reading that. Uh, Leer, oh quick attack. And the reason I got rid of uh, Leer and not Smoke Screen is because Smoke uh, Smoke Screen is really useful, especially uh, for battling really hard matches. You could always use it at the beginning and make that really strong Pokemon miss a lot, you know. So it really helps in the long run. So I really recommend using Smoke Screen. Uh, maybe not in the like once you level up, once you have a. Um, all your Pokemon are really strong and on a high level, uh, but it's always a good move to uh, help you on um, in the long run. So that's why I got uh, rid of Leer and I kept Smoke Screen. Um, and I think this is the last level before we get to the last one. And as always, I have trouble uh, moving around. Um, right here, I actually was pressing the wrong key, so I was having trouble. As you guys can see right here, I keep pushing uh, A. Um, I was just checking to see if the if there's like a button on the on the statue or sometimes it says like a little um a quote or something like that so uh, that's why uh, you see me pressing a a lot so now we found the potion uh, which honestly uh they they're really helpful at the beginning um and then this is where uh yeah i use it because i didn't uh, go to the pokemon center before i came here um, since last episode i just came here i thought all my pokemon were healed or my pokemon was healed but i guess not um, but we do have our Syndicate evolve um, in the next few fights, I believe. I don't know if it's uh, on the third one or on the last guy that we battle here. There we go. I was actually pressing the wrong one. Um, there we go. Cancel. I guess right there I was just looking at uh, all the features, you know, like what we could carry and all that. And once again, we have a ton of Rattatas. Uh, they honestly get annoying in the long uh, long run and I was thinking about getting a Rattata to get a Raticate 
because for some reason, Raticate seems like a Team Rocket Pokemon. I don't know why it's a normal type and everything, but it just seems to fit. So I was thinking of getting one, but at the same time, I'm like, nah, I'll leave that as the last resort. You know, I really don't want to Raticate. Um, it's not that strong. Like, he has strong moves like Hyper, Hyper Fang and all that. But I could uh, rather have another one, you know. And then we're gonna battle these three characters, uh, trying to find enlightenment and Pokemon. That's good. Like, they actually they appreciate Pokemon for uh, what they are, you know, and not just uh, using them to battle like our our son or Giovanni's son, because I consider myself Giovanni for some reason. Uh, so yeah. So now they have level six Bell Sprouts, but still, there's there's not gonna be any match to our Ember. Uh, they're just gonna burn. And every time I see a Battle Sprout, it always reminds me of the one episode in uh, in the Pokemon anime uh, where Ash is in the Pokemon League and he's battling a Battle Sprout and uh, he's taking everybody out, including Pikachu, and then he just takes out a Muck, and then the Battle Sprout has no chance. Like he keeps hitting him, but it's like like rubber, you know, so he's not doing any damage. And then Muck just does a a body slam and just. Uh, <laughs> Suffocates the bell sprout. I don't know that. I don't know. That's just one of those episodes that uh, always remind me of uh, uh, bell sprout. Whenever I see bell sprout, it reminds me of that episode. And then uh, yeah, so the, I guess they only have one bell sprout since it is a level six. Uh, but still, you know, it's no match. Even if we didn't use that uh, potion, it's still no match whatsoever. I think this is where we had no. Is this where we uh, evolved? I think it is. Uh, for some reason, I thought it was a level, yeah, a level 16. I don't know if they changed that to level 14. I always, ex I always thought that starters evolve um, at level 16 uh, on their first stage, you know. So uh, I don't know. I wasn't expecting him to evolve right now. Um, a level 14. It just doesn't seem right. It's usually at level 16 and then at level 36. Although some of them evolve at level 34, I believe. I don't know. I guess they changed that during the, the games, you know. And then this is the last guy we fight here uh, before I leave. Because I couldn't find a way to go uh, and battle the top over there with the red-headed kid, our son. Um, and the, the way to get through there is through the bell sprout and the pillar. Uh, but for some reason, I thought that you couldn't go through that. I thought there was like another way in. Uh, so then I go out and then this is where I was thinking that. I had to go fight the gym first, but then I go and then they tell me that um, I need to fight the Bellsprout Tower, so that's when I come back and then I actually find that. Um, and it's kind of sad, you know, but at the same time, we do end up uh, with our Onyx because I go look around the town, I talk to people, and then I go over there and we talk about, um, there's the people that talk about the Soto Widow, that they don't let them go in the city and there's uh, less people in the city and all that. And then we also go over there to, with the uh, ruins, uh, but I'm not gonna show that on screen uh, because the episode is gonna be like 60 minutes long if I actually uh, showed everything I did, and I didn't want to make it an hour long, you know. Uh, so I did cut most of it. So let me know, you know. Um, I'm, I, like most of my episodes are like 30, 40 minutes long, and and I feel that's too much, um, twice as long as they should be. Uh, so this is where I check, you know, and I think this is why. I didn't go straight because I had to battle this uh, rat attack um, and then I think I just leave because uh, that's the only way to go through there you know uh, for some reason I thought that we weren't gonna fit through there and uh, yeah so as you guys can see right here I turn around and and if it wasn't for that rat attack I would have gone straight ahead uh, but it, it just ruined everything and then right here I'm just uh, trying to find the way to go over there and I talk to him maybe he's gonna move or something like that uh, but it doesn't let me, you know, so then I, I try to move the pillar for some reason, and then I leave. Um, and yeah, and I, and I was trying to find a way uh, to get in there, and, and I didn't find a way at all. And then I was thinking that the, the little outline uh, at the bottom was going to help, but it doesn't in the end, uh, which was quite annoying. But at the same time, I don't want to look up uh, how to play, like, the walkthrough or anything like that, any help. It's always better to find everything uh, on your own unless it's uh, taking a real long time, you know, and it, it, sometimes it does get frustrating when you can't figure something out, uh, but that's part of uh, uh, the fun of it, you know, playing the actual game. Um, so right here I'm just betting a bunch of rat attacks, like every three steps it's a, it's a rat attack. 
like they get quite annoying especially uh if you can't run away if you have low level pokemon that you can't run away but the good thing is that uh we have a high level pokemon um where we could just uh, run away right away and uh this is where we start bat I, I was i went over there to the grass and then i was battling a lot of pokemon and uh finally found find the bell sprout they're actually a really rare um Pokemon like the chance of uh, finding a bounce is really hard and then right here I was uh, wondering what to do because he's a level 6 and we're level 14 um, so I didn't know if I should uh, try to uh, uh, um, Hurt him a little bit that way we could catch him a little bit easier or just throw a pokeball But I decided just to throw a pokeball and uh, hopefully get it on the first second third time, you know um, And then he's not gonna do any damage since we are a fire type and we're level 14 uh, he's not going to do anything at all, but um, I decided just to throw another Pokeball uh, just in case uh, I do end up knocking him out on the first uh, turn or first move. Uh, but he doesn't want to he doesn't want to stay, so I do end up using a move. Um, I, I'm not sure if I use another Pokeball right now or if I uh, actually uh, attack. Yeah, I do use Rock Smash, which honestly I thought it was going to be enough to take him out. Uh, but since it's... Uh, it's not super effective or it's not even effective at all since it is a grass type and it's a rock move um it didn't do that much damage you know so i'm able to land a couple and then this one was a critical hit i believe so i didn't want to risk it and uh, do another one and end up killing him like i said uh, he is uh, a rare find not that rare but it's probably like every uh i'm not gonna say it's exactly every uh, like six Pokemon that you encounter uh, but it was for me so that's why I'm saying he's kind of rare you know because you have to go through uh, five other Pokemon before you uh, finally find a Bellsprout uh, but we caught him on the third Pokeball so that's pretty good and then uh, now we were able to go get our Onyx which I believe is called Rocky and even before um, this I, I knew he was going to be called Rocky because I know he had a nickname and the first thing that pops up is a Rocky you know um, so no I'm not going to give it any nickname or anything like that uh, I'm not even gonna heal it. I'm just gonna go and trade it to him. He could go to Pokemon Center and do that himself, you know, so uh, so yeah, so I Did go to the left like at, at right now I had actually gone around um, The top to the left and then down and then uh, there to that patch of gra grass um, and I didn't want to show everything. I actually didn't want to show uh, all the like ancient towers and uh, pyramids and all that. Uh, but there was nothing there, you know. It was there was nothing there whatsoever. They would just tell you um, that it was uh, towers that people didn't know anything about them, um, and that's about it. So I decided to just to cut that off, just so uh, the episode wouldn't be that long. Um, I don't even know if there's a lot a lot of you that are actually watching this episode, but. Uh, just in case that there's some, you know, I didn't want to make it that long. Um, so now we have our Bellsprout that we're going to trade uh, for our Onyx, which is uh, it's a low level. And at the same time, it's good that uh, we end up getting a low level. Um, and now that I'm thinking about it, maybe it's, he gives us the same level uh, that we give him. You know, since we gave him a level 6 uh, Bellsprout, um, then he gives us a level 6 uh, Onyx. So... I'm really not sure about that if he just gives us uh, everybody a level 6 or it all depends on the level that you give them, you know. So um, it's kind of good that we got a low level. That way we could uh, uh, work on the IVs and EVs and all that, you know. But what a trade in Onyx for a, for a Bellsprout. And it's pretty funny that there's like Bellsprouts everywhere around this town and and he'll trade in Onyx instead of go getting one, you know, and keeping an Onyx. Uh, but we got our Onyx, our first uh, rock type, and uh, I am planning to keep this Onyx just because uh, he's, I don't know, he's underestimated. I think he's a really strong Pokemon, um, and I'm planning on using him. I used him for uh, Pixelmon on Minecraft, and he was pretty beast, you know, like, it, as long as you work on the special defense, then he's, then he's just a tank. So, let's check his summary. And he's a hasty nature, which I honestly don't remember what that means. Um, and he loves to eat. Who doesn't, you know? And he is a rock ground type, so that's pretty good. It fits the Team Rocket um, theme in a way. Um, so it's a perfect match, you know? It's the first Pokemon that we're actually going to keep. And then um, he, he has a 
yeah, his def defense is always going to be really high since he is a rock. And then the speed is pretty high too. Um, and also the special defense. Uh, the special attack is the least. But it's alright, you know. Uh, we're going to try to work on the special defense. And um, and probably the special attack since uh, we're going to learn a lot of uh, a rock type moves. So we're going to go with that. And then just attack. Uh, just leave it as it is. You know, if it gets better, then it gets better. If not, then uh, that's where we're, that's how we're going to go. And... Um, he does have a, an item, a berry, that I didn't notice uh, while I was playing the game. But we finally have our first Pokemon, Team Rocket Pokemon. Now we need it just to go and battle this uh, a leader over here. And this is the way that to go in. I was really, uh, I don't know, I was just really surprised that it was that easy. And I was uh, making it a big deal, you know. So Elder, you showed us uh, what you showed us, what you got, and it's indeed good. And uh, I guess right here I was talking, uh, I don't know what I was saying. So however, you should care more about your Pokemon. Uh, the way you treat your Pokemon can be too harsh. Remember, Pokemon are not tools of war. Um, yeah, he's just like Team Rocket. So Rock, <laughs> I forgot we called him Rock. Uh, let's see what he has to say. Hmm, he calls himself the elder, but he was no match for me. Sure enough, those who lecture how you should be uh, nice to Pokemon, they cannot defeat me. All I care about are strong Pokemon that win every time. The rest of them uh, don't mean anything to me. So he reminds me of the guy from Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Um, the one that has the Snivy that really doesn't care about his uh, Pokemon. I can't remember his name, uh, but he reminds me of him. And then uh, I do find a Pokeball right here. Uh, and it's an escape rule, so it's going to be really useful because I don't want to go uh, through all those Rattatas once again. And, and the Onyx re looks really funny, uh, the way he walks behind you. It reminds me of like a, a game, like an old school game. I don't know if it was like the Pokemon, not the Pokemon, uh, the Mario games. Uh, where they, there's like snakes, you know, that walk le left and right, back and forth. Uh, I don't know, it just looks really funny the way that he's walking. Uh, so I guess so let's start the battle. So good of you to come here. No problem, old man. Uh, Sprout Tower is a place of training. People and Pokemon test their bonds to build a bright future together. I am um, allow me to check the ties between you and your Pokemon. I was going too fast. Um, let's see. Uh, he does have three Pokemon, and I thought they were gonna be way higher, but but I guess I, they're just a little bit higher than the other ones. And we are going to switch. The only reason I put my uh, the Onyx first is just so we could get um, some XP off that, you know. Because uh, Bellsprout is going to take out an Onyx any day, any time, you know. Uh, especially at that level. Um, because Bellsprout know pretty good moves um, uh, at really low levels. So I don't know if that's just uh, for the trainers or if they actually learn those moves. Uh, like Bind Whip and uh, Razor Leaf. But... Uh, they're pretty strong, you know, so I don't want my Onyx getting here at all. Uh, so that's why we have our Quilava right here that does work. And then I do end up switching to my Rocky uh, because uh, bird Pokemon are weak to rock type. So our our uh, Onyx is just going to do work, you know. Um, rock Throw. I don't think we know Rock Throw yet. Uh, actually, we do because I went and trained our Onyx, and he was doing a lot of work on the Hop Hips um, and uh, Rattatas, and who else was there? Uh, Flaffies. I don't know. He was just really strong against them, so uh, he's no match to our, our Onyx because we got him at level 6, so I trained him um, to level 11, and he gains. Uh, uh, he slept us. Um, he made us fall asleep. He hit nose. Hypnosis says, how would you say that? I don't know how you would say that. Uh, but he uh, he gains XP, like, so so much XP. Like, uh, probably by battling one Pokemon, like, level 3, 4, uh, he ended up getting almost a whole level, you know. So, uh, I'm guessing just because he, he was such a low level. Uh, but still, you know, he takes out a Pokemon in, like, one hit. And he almost gets a level off that Pokemon. So, so it wasn't that hard to uh, level up our Onyx. Um... Uh, See right here, look at all that uh, XP he gained, and he's level 11, so that, that's pretty good, you know. And then uh, he takes out another Bell Sprout, uh, but we're gonna switch, you know, because he's just gonna uh, do too much work on our Onyx. So I leave him just so he could get the XP, because if we switched right there, uh, he wasn't gonna, gonna get an XP, you know. He has to be part of the battle, um, so if you switch him right there, he's not gonna get any XP. 
Um, so now we could just switch and uh, it, the bad thing is that they get a free uh, like move, a free hit on you um, since you did use your turn to uh, uh, switch Pokemon but like I said he's not going to do anything to Quilava um, so that's pretty good and then just use Ember and we're done it's over there we go so yeah, so I think the next Pokemon we're gonna get, cause uh, in Dark Cave I think there's only um, like Subats and all that, and I was thinking of getting like a Gold Bat, uh, since he is kind of like a Team Rocket team, um, and I think that's like the only Flying type Pokemon that uh, we're gonna be able to get, you know, that's like a Team Rocket team, um, and I'm not sure if Gold Bat even knows Fly, um, so I'm gonna look into that and see if he knows fly and if he does uh, then we're gonna end up getting a gold bat just to uh, uh, use fly you know because it once we get fly it's gonna be really useful uh, flying from city to city so um but for some reason i think that he doesn't know how to fly or use the move fly so i'll find what he says and then this guy just tells me that uh uh, he just gives us our flash, you know, to use on the uh, dark cave. So we're going to go do that. And um, now that we have that, we could go battle the gym, uh, which is pretty easy since we have our, our onyx right here. And a lot of people, they, they what they do is they just go uh, um, to the sides right there, the glass. It reminds me of Minecraft. Uh, but they, they go over there just to fight the gym, you know, the gym leader. Uh, but I like battling all these other guys. I can't believe how ridiculous high this is. Uh, but from up here, you can't tell what it feels like to be a poor Pokemon. Let me see if you're good enough to uh, fight Faulkner. I believe that's what he said. I'm not sure. I wasn't able to read the whole thing. Uh, but that's what I guess he said, you know. So uh, he does have a Spearow. Or Sparrow. Spearow. And he is, he is a level 9, but like I said, uh, he's not going to be any match for our Onyx uh, to learn, to earn more XP. There we go. Yes, he was, uh, it was a one-hit knockout, and I know it was a critical hit, uh, but I think he was still going to uh, knock him out, even though it wasn't a critical hit. And then our uh, defense is always going to go high. You know, he has a really strong defense. Uh, that's why it's really good to uh, use them against other Pokemon that are not water, grass type, or that know any uh, ground type moves, you know, um, like Earthquake. Because Earthquake does damage on almost every Pokemon. Um, so those are the pathways that you could uh, uh, use to skip these two trainers right here. But I like fighting them because they give you extra XP, you know, they're trainers. So uh, the Pokemon that you battle give you a little bit more than the wild Pokemon do. So it just helps train our Onyx a little bit more, you know. Um, so yeah, what happens if you get pushed around up here, then you'll get, well, you think you'll stagger and fall. People here are training right in, night and day to become bird Pokemon masters. Uh, bring it on. Let's get it started. You are challenged by Bird Keeper Rod. It's kind of funny, Rod, you know, like a, a water uh, a fisherman. That would have been better than uh, naming a, a bird type a trainer Rod. So, what will you do? Once again, we're just going to use Rock Throw and just take out that PG. And this, oh yeah, I forgot. This is where he starts uh, now baiting me. So he says, it says that he's loafing around. And it really surprised me because, um, usually they don't do that unless you don't have a badge um if they're like a really high level um then they don't listen to you and then he, he starts doing that and, and he didn't he wasn't doing that when i was training him so i'm guessing that um since he did gain a level in the last uh, fight um level 12 then that's when he stops listening to us uh because we need the, the badge from this uh attack me so i wasn't doing any damage whatsoever um, so we needed a badge from this gym uh, for him to uh, obey us to I think level 20 and then after that uh, he's gonna stop uh, obeying us you know because we need to uh, uh, meet his uh, how should I say uh, what he wants us you know his requirements as as a Pokemon um, and he gives us trouble right here like we would have been uh, finished with the match long long like a long time ago uh, but he ends up uh, uh, doing, I'm missing a lot of shots, you know. What would you do? But he does uh, seem to land a, a few here and there, you know. Um, and especially the good thing is that it's a one-hit knockout, or else it was gonna take forever. So we uh, were able to f uh, fight our uh, defeat our uh, the first gym right here. 
Look how far away we are. <laughs> Usually he just he's right in front of him. Uh, Faulkner. Gym leader. People say you can clip flying type Pokemon's wings with the jolt of electricity. I won't allow such an insult to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of magnificent. Wait, what? I'm really confused. So. I thought we were battling him. What just happened? I guess that was the other trainer. I was so confused that that we were battling him before, uh, but I guess not. So I guess we need to battle uh, as a gym leader now. <laughs> I'm so confused. So right here, he actually didn't choose Harden. I chose Rock Throw, but he decided to use uh, uh, Harden. Um, he's not obeying me. Um, just like uh, Charizard and Charmeleon did with Ash in the anime. Um, and it's sad, you know, because we could have been done with the match a long time ago, but uh, he wasn't listening. He wasn't having it. He didn't like me. But the good thing is, uh, once again, like I said, uh, it's a one-hit knockout, you know, so uh, it could have been worse. It could have been worse. He... And then he battles. He goes up to level 13, um, which is pretty high, you know, right now. Our Cinderquill's level... Uh, 16, 15, 15, and it took us the whole game to get here, you know, and now our, uh, the win is finally with us. He does have a Pidgeotto, uh, which is one of my favorite Pokemon. I really love, uh, Pidgeotto. He just seems really cool, you know, especially the, the Pokemon card. Um, a lot of Pokemon, I like a lot of Pokemon just because of the Pokemon cards back in the day. Um, and he does, he does do work on our Onyx right here with Gust. Um, I think that's the only move that he can use that will actually do uh, damage, you know, like a lot of damage. But, once again... And I think I do end up uh, using a potion. Uh, because even though he's not doing that much damage, it's doing enough that uh, he could take it out, you know. And then he uses Roost a lot, so he just gains some more HP. So it's gonna be like a never-ending battle where I, uh, it takes a while for me to actually use a move uh, to hit him because, well, our Onyx is not listening to us. And then when we finally hit him, he uses Roost to heal up, you know, so it's kind of annoying. Um, the only way we're gonna be able to defeat him is if uh, we use uh, two rock throws, um, one after the other one, and he doesn't use Roost. So yeah, he's turning away. He doesn't want to do anything with us. And I wouldn't want to make an Onyx pissed off, you know, like, that that's a big Pokemon right there. You could just, uh, even with the small, with the tail, he could just uh, destroy you, you know? And this is where he doesn't decide to use rules, so uh, we take advantage of that, and uh, it's game. GG, Pidgeotto. If it wasn't for him uh, using Gust again, then it would have been a little bit annoying. Uh, and look at that. <laughs> it didn't give us the last XP to level up. Like, how annoying is that, you know? You gave us all that, but you couldn't give us that level. I don't think we need even that much. For pity's sake, my dad shares Pokemon. A uh, bird Pokemon. Uh, but a defeat is a defeat, alright. Take uh, this official Pokemon League badge. The Sapphire badge. Sapphire, Seafire, from Faulkner. Uh, with the badge Pokemon included, traded Pokemon up to level 20 will obey you without question. It also enables you to use the hidden move, uh, Rock Smash, anytime outside. Um, and that was good enough because I was trying to use it on some of the rocks that were over there by the um, by the pyramids, and it wouldn't let me. So. Um, now we are able to do that and hopefully get like a shield or something like that. Um, only use one, it contains roost. So he did give us roost, but like I said, I don't think we're gonna use this since we're not gonna get uh, any bird Pokemon. And uh, we're finally done, guys. We finished it. Um, hopefully, our Onyx is gonna listen to us and from now on. Hopefully, uh, it actually surprised me. I wasn't expecting him not to uh, obey me like that. Uh, but we're finally done, so I just want to thank you guys. If you made it this far, please leave a like. Um, and also leave a comment. Let me know if you made it this far, you finished the episode. Um, and we're getting a call from Professor Rome. Uh, just once we finish the, our Hello Rocket, we discovered something. 
uh, the details are well I can't really say anything but we want you to carry the egg um, my assistant is at the Pokemon in Valley City uh, could you go meet him and get it from him so we are um, but I just want to thank you guys once again please leave a like and let me know if you guys stayed this far and as you guys can see it's night time um, I don't know if it's uh, it goes as the time because it was around 5 6 when I was recording this and it wasn't that dark but I'm guessing it it goes as uh, the time you play so I might I need to play at night to get like some dark uh, night Pokemon like Hulu or something like that but I just want to thank you guys and uh, stay tuned for episode 4 I'll try to be uh, doing these episodes like every Wednesday and every Saturday so you guys could stay tuned for that so I just want to thank you guys and once again Team Rocket uh, out.